one of the core concepts in node is a concept of events in fact a lot of node's core functionality is based on this concept of events an event is basically a signal that indicates that something has happened in our application for example in node we have a class called http that we can use to build a web server so we listen on a given port and every time we receive a request on that port that http class raises an event now our job is to respond to that event which basically involves reading that request and returning the right response as you go through node documentation you can see that several classes in node raises different kinds of events and in your code you might be interested to respond to those events so in this lecture i'm going to show you how to work with the events module now back in node's documentation once again in the list of modules you can see here we have this events module so in this module we have one class that is called event emitter it's one of the core building blocks of node and a lot of classes are based on this event emitter so let's see how we can work with this event emitter back in vs code first let's load the events module so require node events now here when we call the require function we get the event emitter class so constant event emitter you may also use es6 modules to import the event emitter class from the events module like this import event emitter from node events do make sure to update h.json file to indicate the type as module as we did in the last lecture so let's come in this out for now note that here in terms of the naming the first letter of every word is uppercase this is a convention that indicates that this event emitter is a class it's not a function it's not a simple value it's a class a class is a type of container for properties and functions which we call methods so in this event emitter class we have these methods that you see here in the documentation so a class is a container for a bunch of related methods and properties now here in order to use this event emitter first we need to create an instance of this class so constant emitter we set this to new event emitter so here this emitter is an object in case you don't know the difference between a class and an object let me give you a metaphor class is like human and an object is like an actual person like you me and so on. so a class defines the properties and behavior of a concept like a human but an object is an actual instance of that class okay so here this first event emitter is a class it's a blueprint it defines what an event emitter can do but the second emitter is an actual object this is the one that we are going to use in our application so this emitter has a bunch of methods look these are all the methods that you saw in the documentation now even though here we have more than 10 methods most of the time we use only two of these methods one is emit that we use to raise an event emit basically means making a noise or produce something in this case we are making a noise in our application we are signaling that an event has happened okay 
So that's the meaning of event. Now here, we pass an argument that is a name of the event. Let's say message logged. In the future, we are going to extend our logger module and every time we log a message, we are going to raise an event called message locked. All right. Now, if we run this application, nothing is going to happen. Let me show you. Back in the terminal, node app js look, nothing happened because we have raised an event here but nowhere in our application we have registered a listener that is interested in that event. A listener is a function that will be called when that event is raised, okay? So let's register a listener that will be called when the message log event is raised. To register a listener, we write emitter dot. Look, here we have this method add listener but we have an alias for this that we use more often that is on if we have worked with jquery you have seen this before so on or add listener they are exactly the same but quite often we use the on method now this method takes two arguments the first one is the name of the event in this case, message logged. And the second one is a callback function for the actual listener. So here we pass a function and this function will be called when that event is raised. All right. For now, I just want to log a message in the console. So console log, let's say, listener call, I guess. Now let's run this application. So, node app js, and we got this message, listener call. So this indicates that when we raised this event, the callback function or listener was called. And of course, the order is important here. If we registered this listener after calling the emit method, nothing would have happened. Because when we call the emit method, this emitter, it reads over all the registered listeners and calls them synchronously. So this is the basic of raising events and handling them using the event emitter class.